Today, let's delve into one of the most incredible stories from the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. Get ready for a tale of courage, faith, and divine protection. At the pinnacle of the mighty Persian Empire, Darius ascended to the throne as its sovereign king. Determined to rule justly, he appointed an official for each of the 120 provinces under his vast dominion. To ensure the efficiency of his administration, he chose three prominent administrators to oversee these officials. Among these administrators, Daniel stood out, a man whose wisdom and integrity were remarkable. His exceptional ability set him apart, and the king, impressed, contemplated granting him authority over the entire empire. However, the brilliance of Daniel's rise stirred envy and intrigue among the other two administrators and the officials. Motivated by greed and envy, this coalition of adversaries craftily plotted to prevent Daniel from reaching the coveted position. Desperate to find flaws or corruption in his life, they scrutinized every aspect of his governing journey. Yet their efforts were in vain as Daniel's integrity remained unshaken. Frustrated, the conspirators turned to a more sinister strategy. Recognizing Daniel's unwavering devotion to his God, they decided to exploit the laws governing his faith. They believed that by finding some point of conflict between divine laws and the king's decrees, they could weaken Daniel's standing before the monarch. Before we proceed, I'd like to invite you to join our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button to not miss any amazing content. Oh, and don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. In the halls of the majestic palace, the conspirators, having sifted through ancient scrolls, unearthed what they believed to be the key to undermining Daniel's unwavering devotion to his God. With a shrewd gleam in their eyes, they gathered, devising a sinister plan to undermine the righteous Daniel and win favor with King Darius. Approaching the throne room with false humility, they addressed the powerful monarch. O oh, King Darius, may you live forever. In unison, your loyal officials and administrators have conceived a grand gesture of honor worthy of your glory. With your gracious permission, we propose a decree that for the next 30 days all shall worship only you. A law engraved in the unchanging customs of the Medes and Persians. A testament to your unparalleled reign. Those who dare to defy this edict shall find themselves cast into the dreaded lion's den. A just consequence for their disobedience. The ambitious proposal resonated in the heart of King Darius, who, influenced by flattery, promptly affixed his royal seal to the decree. Little did he know that this seemingly harmless act would set the stage for a conflict of principles and a test of faith. The news of this decree reached Daniel's ears, but his devotion to his God remained unwavering. Unshaken by the impending threat, he continued with his daily worship ritual. As the sun set on the horizon, Daniel ascended to his chamber, opened the ornate windows overlooking the sacred city of Jerusalem, and knelt in prayer, a ritual rooted in the essence of his being. The conspirators, watching with anticipatory smiles, saw their machinations unfold exactly as predicted. Daniel, faced with imminent danger, chose loyalty to his god over the king's temporary decree. In the sumptuous chambers of King Darius's palace, a group of cunning conspirators approached the throne, their eyes gleaming with calculated intent. With feigned concern etched on their faces, they addressed the monarch. Great king, is it true that you sealed a decree, a law binding your subjects to worship only you for a period of 30 days? And did you not proclaim that those who dared defy this edict would face the fierce lion's den as a terrible consequence? Seated on his majestic throne, King Darius nodded in agreement. Indeed, I have established it as an irrevocable law of the Medes and Persians, unyielding and unalterable. Feigning sorrow, the conspirators continued. O mighty king, it saddens us to bring this news to your attention. But Daniel, a Jewish exile in your kingdom, is in violation of this very law. He persistently bows down and worships his god three times a day, defying the royal edict. Darius, now surprised, felt a wave of shock and concern. He recognized the perilous position in which Daniel stood and realized he needed to find a way to extricate his trusted administrator from imminent ruin. Determined, the king dedicated the entire day to finding a loophole, a glimmer of hope within the intricate web of laws. As night fell and shadows lengthened, the conspirators returned, their faces revealing no sympathy. 
Great King, you are aware that the law of the Medes and Persians is absolute and unalterable. They declared, emphasizing the inflexible nature of the decree. So the king issued an order to bring Daniel. Darius spoke with him before he was cast into the den. May the God whom you serve rescue you from these lions. Darius expressed, concerned. Daniel was lowered into the den and then a stone was placed over the opening. The king sealed the entrance so that no one could interfere in this judgment. He returned to his palace and canceled the night's festivities. He refused to eat and spent the night without sleep. When dawn finally broke, Darius hurried back to the lion's den. As soon as the stone was removed, he cried out, O oh Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God been able to rescue you from the lions? The atmosphere, charged with suspense and anxiety, hung over the crucial moment. The king awaited with bated breath Daniel's response. The words of the faithful servant echoed in the lion's den, resonating the manifestation of divine power over the most formidable threats. Daniel answered loudly, My king God sent his angel who shut the mouths of these lions. I suffered no harm. God knows I am innocent. Your majesty, I have caused you no harm. The king ordered Daniel to be taken out of the den. Darius then said to the guards, Go get those men who plotted against Daniel. Bring their wives and children. Throw them all into the lion's den. All the men and their families were brought and shoved into the lion's den. The lions waited at the bottom and tore them apart before they even touched the ground. King Darius, deeply impacted by the power of Daniel's god, issued a decree that echoed throughout his empire. He proclaimed, Let all fear the god of Daniel, for he is the living god. His kingdom will last forever. He is capable of rescuing those who serve him. In this impressive episode, divine justice unfolded in a surprising manner. The conspirators who plotted against Daniel faced the terrible justice of the lions, while Daniel emerged unscathed, protected by the living God. The message of divine power and faithfulness resonated beyond the walls of the lion's den, echoing throughout Darius's empire. This extraordinary narrative not only unveils God's justice, but also underscores the importance of unwavering fidelity and trust in the Most High. May this story inspire and strengthen the faith of those who seek to serve the living God, for he is capable of rescuing and protecting his children amid life's most daunting challenges. Mm -hmm.